a manger. No crib for a bed. The little Lord Jesus. I often think of how Brother Anthony describes it. And he says that Jesus Christ was born in the place where we should have been born. We were born in palaces and kingdoms and comfortable areas. And yet, our Lord and Savior was born in a manger. But we thank God truly for his birth that we celebrate during this season. Let us bow our heads. Dear Heavenly Father, as we so humbly approach your holy throne of grace, O oh God, Father, thanking you and praising you for all that you have done, for all that you are doing, and for all that you have plans to do. Father, you are the great I am, and beside thee there is none other. We thank you, O oh God, for thinking so much of us that you took time out and you woke us up this morning and started us on this way. Father, you put food on our table and clothes on our back. You put a roof on our head, and for that we can say thank you. We thank you, O oh God, for the season that we celebrate the birth of your only begotten son, Jesus, into this world. Father, we thank you for the love that you had for mankind that you gave us, your only begotten son, Jesus. We thank you, O oh God, for the willingness of mind that he had to die on that cruel cross of Calvary so that we might have a right to make it into the kingdom of heaven. Father, we pray that you might remember your word as it goes forth today, O oh God, Father, that it might go from heart to heart, that it might go from breast to breast, that it might go from the east coast all the way to the west coast, O oh God. Father, to this end, that you might be the one that gets all of the glory, that you might be the one that gets all of the honor, and that you might be the one that gets all of the praise in our lives. Father, this is our desire and our prayer this hour, and we will be very careful not to forget to give thy name and praise. Amen. 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 We say unto you all good evening, and may God bless you all. Thank God truly for this another day that he has so graciously allowed our eyes to see. Thank God truly for his only begotten son, Jesus. Thank God truly for the late elder and sister, Lightfoot Solomon Mishaw. Thank God truly for their preachings and their teachings. Thank God truly for the, our present leadership, Elder Howard. Thank God for the scroll that reads obedience, love, reverence, and respect. It is first to God and then to leadership and then to one another. Thank God truly for the deacons that are assembled, for the saints of the Most High. We say unto you all, good afternoon, and may God bless you all. Thank God truly for the, <clears throat> the ups and the downs, the goods and the bads. Thank God for our upsettings and our downsettings, but in all we're taught to give thanks. Thank God truly for the beautiful weather that we've had the past few days. Somebody had written down on their Facebook page, why is it that it seems like everybody is asking for snow, but if the snow sticks around for longer than 24 hours, they start to complain. Go away, snow, go away. But be thankful in all things. You asked for the snow, God gave it to you. Now be thankful for the snow, even if it decides to linger for a little bit. So we thank God truly for all things. Thank God for my wife, our children. Thank God truly for the jobs that he's blessed us with. Transportation back and forth to the jobs. I said you all might remember my daughter Mariah and your prayers. She's still as energetic as she can be and she would have loved to be here today. She even had a song that she wanted to sing for you all. She even told me, she said, Dad, we gotta rehearse that song so we can sing it on Sunday. I rehearsed it with her, but I didn't want to be the bearer of bad news to tell her that she won't going to be here today, but keep her in your prayers that God might continue to touch her body. Looking at the sparks from the anvil on page number three in your programs. First one says, the word of God is to build the home and bind the family. My mind thought about the scripture over there, I believe it's in the book of Psalms that says, except the Lord build the house, 
They that build the house, they labor in vain. So it's important that if you want someone to build your house, let the Lord, let the Word of God build your house. As it says, the Word of God is to build the home and to bind that family together. Second one says, if you learn to be thankful, you will have lots to be thankful for. In everything, church, we're taught to give thanks. We may not always understand why different things happen, how they go about happening, but learn to be thankful in all things. God knows what he's doing. You can't argue with the plan of God. I was thinking on yesterday and how that my wife had said she had uh, opened up a bill, actually it was Friday. She said she opened up a bill for it, $900. And it was in between the time that she had insurance. So she said, well, I guess I gotta go ahead and pay it. So she called them up and they said, ma'am, this has been taken care of. And the new insurance company happened to pick it up and went ahead and paid it. Ain't God good, church? Huh? But all you have to do is learn to be thankful and then you will have lots to be thankful for. Number three says you are ruled and governed by your context. So very true. You are ruled and governed by your context. On the reverse side of your program, on the back side, on the back side, it says whenever God makes a covenant with a father, the third generation receives the blessings of that covenant based upon the obedience to the covenant and testimony of the second generation. So it's important, church, that when the commandments come down, it's important that we obey those commandments so that we might be blessed and then our children might be blessed and our children's children might be blessed. And we thank God truly for that. We thank God truly for this another day that God has so graciously allowed our eyes to see. Thank God truly for the different ones pressing their way out, seeing those who we have not seen in a while, for seeing the visitors making it out. Talked to Miss Rebecca the other day and told her about church service. She never told me that she was coming, but I told her that I was talking to her and telling her how that I had sung to my wife coming down the aisle. She said, I want to hear you sing one day. I said, well, if you come out to church, not knowing that she would be out today. I said, if you come out to church, I'll go ahead and see if I can put something together for you. So, Brother Keith, if you'd be so kind, tis the season. So we're going to sing, Now Behold the Lamb. If you know the song, feel free to join in and help out.